ladies and gentlemen, men and women, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can remember in the previous video, uh, we removed the control arms. We sent it in so that we can get that uh, hubs removed, uh, new polyurethane bushes installed, uh, new tight shafts, all of those lovely things. So we've finally received it back. Um, it is already dark, but I'm going to do my best to give you the best lighting that I possibly can. Uh, so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. But before we continue, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Please do support my channel. I would really, really highly appreciate it if you could just click that subscribe button. Like they said, generosity makes you a happier person. And then as well, you know the little like and please comment. Let's continue. can see here I've got uh, the calipers is repainted uh, the control arms is repainted we've got new side shafts new universals brand new new brake pads for front what they're going to replace tonight as well as new wheel bearings that we're going to install the inner and the outer as well as we've got new polo urethane bushes installed this side that side um, both sides left and right and then as well what we've done as you guys remember with a, one of the previous videos we stripped this threads so uh, I tried to tap and dye them myself it didn't work it didn't last long so I just send it to the engineering shop, shop so that they can put new helicoils um, both in here this side and that side for the brakes and then I did buy brand new bolts for everything once we install it again but now we're going to start with the simple things um as you guys remember in the shed one of the, the first videos um we put everything in here um made it nice and comfy but yeah i still need to install some lights um, maybe i'll do a video about this um soon as well maybe it'd be like a revamp type of thing maybe install some lights some plugs um, some backboard so it's much more cozy but for now um, I'm gonna use my tripod with this light um, as you can see it does my quite a light uh, it should work and like I said I'm really really trying to give you the best lighting that I can and I know it makes it a bit difficult working it in night but I really want to get this finished as the card standing and I want to get things done seems like things are just taking too long now to get done so i'm really going to try and push to get as far as possible but anyway like i said i'm going to do everything as much as i can here to get all of those things done then once this is done we're going to go to the press and press everything that needs to be pressed and then the final will probably come back again to install the last few pieces so first things we, that we're going to do we're going to change the brake pads on the calipers and i'm going to show you how it works. As you can see, here's the calipers, both of them. Uh, here's the brake pads. If you've wondered what's the part number, uh, there's all the details. You can see it there okay so how are we going to start with it if you go and look there you'll see there's a, a wire here yeah we're going to remove that wire then once that wire is removed we're going to remove this pins here this long pin going all the way from there to there same as that side then once that's removed we can remove the brake we can remove the brake pads and once the brake pads is removed uh, we're going to remove this bolt remove this spring then we're going to remove this whole piston so that we can turn it so that piston of the caliper goes back in so that we can set the new brake pads for the caliper.
done with this one um, I did struggle a bit I'm not gonna lie to you uh, but yeah now that I'm done with this one I'm quickly gonna do that one then we are done with the brake calipers let's get it done done with them i'm just keeping brace discs here because i'm afraid that those things um close up for some reason rather be safe than sorry um because if those things close you have to disassemble the whole thing just to push the piston back again so i'm just putting it there just for safety so it doesn't close up for some reason now i have to say i should have removed the whole thing first before i painted them that's not a big deal it's just that as you can see I've got a lot of brake cleaner on it, brake fluid on it, so the paint wall might come off really, really soon. But it's not the end of the world, just paint them so it looks better at least. But now we are done with that, we're gonna go to the control arms. Now, in the control arms, we've got two bearings we've got an inner bearing and we've got an outer bearing, and then here we've got the two bearing sizes. Now, this is for one, and this is the other one. Let me just give you the item number uh, there's the barcode uh, there's the item number this is for one and the other one as well as the barcode and the item number so now what we're going to do now we're going to go to the press uh, we're going to press out this bearing this one already removed it the reason for that is i had to get the sample so we're going to remove this bearing this side and then as well as the bearing on the shaft that goes in here we're gonna remove those two bearings as well so let's get to it see uh, we've got the calipers it's all done we've got brand new brake pads on them uh, as well as with the control arms we've got brand new polyurethane bushes on we've got new bearings in inner and outer bearings uh, as well as this side the reason why i haven't installed this shaft yet is due to that the um what do you call it oh sorry i just switched off the light while i'm walking Anyway, the reason why I haven't put in the shaft is due to that uh, the, well, when I, we removed it, I did injure the threads, as you can see, it's a bit damaged, as well as the nut um, in the inside as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it to one of my friends, Eugene. Um, he assisted me with my previous shaft, so just ask me if you can assist me once again and then once that is done, that is install, uh, done, then I will be installing the control arms and the brake pad, brake calipers into the Nissan and as well as the new side shafts and then we are fine, we can go, we can drive again, we can test drive it, see what happens, I'm actually really excited to see, uh, to see if the brake noise is gone, just to drive it again, I mean I miss my Nissan, I miss the power uh, I really can't wait to go take it for a drive and then yeah we still have a few things I still have to do on the Nissan um, I've got that new lights that I bought for the Nissan that I still have to install as well um, I have to do the wiring still we have body work still left to do um, I might get spacers for the Nissan 
so that I can run the complete full set of rims. It's just that uh, the one rim I have to fix uh, due to it being broken because I was almost drove the car off. But anyway, that's another story for other day. And then once that's done, I can run the full set. I just need spaces for the back as well. So I'm just going to make spaces now for the front so I can use the front rims for the front because currently I'm running it at the back. But yeah, then I can put it on the front. And then once that's done, I can make spaces, put them at the back and then fix the brake, the back rims and put them on with new tires as well. And then we can start with the body work, um, make like a body kit and all of those things. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for now. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Uh, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. If you don't like the video, please click the dislike button twice just to make sure that it's been clicked. So click it once. If you don't like the video, click it once and just click it again to make sure that it's clicked. But if you've liked the video, please hit that like button. Thank you guys. Enjoy. I can fly.